Wearing bib number one today for Team Maxis Rocky Mountain Bicycles, Jeff Kabush. Wearing number three from Three Rocks Racing, Derek Zanstra. From Team Show Air Specialized, wearing number two, Max Plaxton. From Norco Factory Team, number five, Andrew Watson. De l'équipe du Québec, Rocky Mountain Factory Team, Raphael Gagné. Number six from Expresso Borsao, Matthew Hadley. Number nine from Rocky Mountain Factory Team, Stefan Widmer. Number 13 from Kona, Chris Snedden. Number eight from Trek Canada, Eric Batty. Well, they're off. Uh, the men, uh, uh, the elite men are now on course. And very soon we'll have the start of a men's U23 uh, race with uh, about a minute behind uh, the elite category. So our first riders are coming through here. This is uh, the show loop or the start loop as we call it. And the group is all together. This is the elite group once again. Alors le groupe élite euh, qui passe ici en premier lieu. Évidemment, début de course très tranquille. A very easy start to this race. This show loop will uh, be used to uh, separate the group and make sure that everybody uh, out on the course, once they hit the uh, single track, are well dispersed and it makes for much more safer riding here today. So live on screen now, the main group is all split into two, as you can see, a very good panning there as we bring the riders up to us. Alors, une belle indication, le groupe principal qui s'est scindé en deux, <coughs> et c'est la file indienne derrière, on peine pour rester en contact, struggling to stay in contact here, is uh, the second group. Uh, uh, hopefully my voice will last till the end of this webcast. It is not getting much better, but unfortunately uh, suffering a bit from uh, uh, a cold here in the Canmore, Alberta. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, uh, simplement pour uh, m'excuser de ma voix, uh, je souffre d'une mauvaise, une vilaine grippe ici uh, du côté de Canmore, et uh, j'en perds un petit peu la voix, mais on sera correct pour terminer cet après-midi en votre compagnie. So the leaders there just are coming by on uh, the picture. As we see Derek Zanstra entering the trees, the EKG climb, followed closely by Max Plaxton and Jeff Kabush of Maxis Rocky Mountain. It's just rider after rider at this point as everyone's just full gas. And once again, if you want to uh, also pick up uh, the uh, results live as they go by on each lap, you can go to triple W zone four in numerals dot ca click on the national championships of mountain biking cross country xc and uh, go to the uh, elite uh, men's and u23 category at the bottom of the page and you can uh, follow through by clicking on that sign just a shot here of our uh, stadium area our expo area people enjoying the the nice sunshine and beautiful beautiful weather we're treated to here in canmore and we got derek zanstra dropping in just ahead of Max Plaxton. So Derek Zanstra, Three Rock Racing through the laundry chutes, followed by Max Plaxton, Jeff Kabush of Maxis Rocky Mountain. It's almost 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds to our fourth place rider, which is Marty Lazarski, Rocky Mountain, followed by Raf Gagne and Eric Batty, Trek Canada. So Chris Snedden's in there. And Steph Widmer is in there from Rock Team Rocky Mountain. It's still the three same guys leading this race. So there they are, Jeff Kabush, 
Derek Zanstra et aussi Max Plaxton. Voilà les trois coureurs de tête cabouche. Zanstra et Max Plaxton. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, Kabush is sporting the full suspension here as uh, Chris Snedden, Lazarski, looks like Eric Batty and uh, Gagne right off the back there. Jasper, hundreds of kilometers to the nearest race, as getting in some training. So it wouldn't sort of surprise me if we heard that he rode from Jasper to Canmore to do this. All right, if we look at our monitors and our live uh, webcast here, we can see some of those chasers, Evan, you were just talking about, come through the start-finish area. And uh, the chase group's now dropping in with Eric Batty, Marty Lazarski, and Chris Snedden. And Roth Gagne is just kind of dangling off the back of that chase group here. Don't want that uh, elastic to snap. As soon as it does, it's game over. Yeah, that's right, Evan. And not, it's not so much about catching in the draft and saving energy that way, but it's more just staying pace and, and being at that front and that group, uh, that pace with the group. The guy in front is uh, doing some of the work for you. you. He picks the line, you just follow, and it's uh, a little bit easier that way. Okay, here's a shot of our lead group here. Max Plaxton's on the front still with Derek Zanstra and Jeff Kabush, the Maxis Rocky Mountain Pro Rider. And this is a little, little downhill section of single track with kind of an awkward log jump that they've made it through there. And they descend back down, and they're going to have another strong climb up. The second little group here. And uh, once we get our results uh, up and going here, we'll be able to tell you uh, what's happening in the U23 race. Cabouche dans une position bien connue. Uh, il va souvent se blottir en deuxième ou troisième roue d'un groupe de tête et tout simplement choisir le moment opportun pour attaquer. Plaxton looking very good here, Evan, today. He uh, seems to have good legs. But here in our chase group, we have Chris Snedden, and Marty Lazarski, and Eric Batty. So it looks like Raph Gagne has kind of lost touch with that group a little bit, and that might cost him a little, a little bit of time because he'll be slowed down and have to pace himself instead of working with the group. Here they are. We got Derek Zantara leading down through the laundry chutes, looking pretty smooth, weight way back off the saddle. Keeping in control, and Max Plaxton and Jeff Kabush, predictably, right behind him. So still in the lead, <coughs> our three riders, Kabush, Zanstra, and Plaxton. So Gagne is still up there. So he's probably passed a few riders, Evan, because uh, I didn't see uh, Snedden, unless we missed it with the camera shot as we transferred over here. And now Plaxton taking the lead, Kabush sitting in second, Zanstra in third. So let's cheer them on, folks. Our leaders in the men's elite race. Max Plaxton, Jeff Kabush, Derek Zanstra. These guys look like they're drafting off each other. The, the first three must be really flying on the uphills because they didn't come through here looking quite as uh, focused. Yeah, Evan, we just had a shot there of our leaders going up the climb, and now our chasing group, Chris Snedden, Eric Batty, and Marty Lazarski lapping through. And they looks like they are uh, taking turns at the front. Jeff Kabush has moved, moved into the lead to make sure he's got the first shot at this drop, and we'll see if he uh, puts in a little dig, a little attack up this uh, gravel climb after the drop in here. Uh, to see, just to test the legs and open it up a little bit on these guys. You can see Plaxton sprinting, sprinting to catch back onto that group. It's This is kind of similar how the race went last year with Nationals, uh, other than the absence of Andrew Watson. These three guys kind of raced the same way in Felicien. Some sort of a, a little windstorm picking up here in uh, Alberta. It's quite a return to form for uh, Max Plaxton, who as a junior and early on in his espoir career did very well. Alors, uh, Plaxton, uh, qui a de la difficulté à suivre la cadence uh, imposée maintenant par Cabouch. He almost had like a time trial position there coming up here. And, uh, well, with uh, two laps to go, I guess he's uh, destroying our prognosis here of what we thought was going to go on. Our predictions... Uh, may still hold if uh, Derek 